All right, look happy. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome, everybody. Hi. I'm Randy with G4 Outdoors, and I appreciate and Dan, Dan, Dan there's, G G G there's Andy, Danny, and Randy. Who's who's who? What's going on everybody? Welcome to Lanier Lawn Care. I'm Randy with G4 Outdoors and I appreciate Danny for bringing all of these Bluetooth headsets over to review and find out who comes on top. Ex I mean, it uh, was... Can we say who comes out on top? It's a lot of testing. It's a lot of testing. Guys, we, we tested the, the Klipsch R6s, okay? We tested the Beats X, the Sony WI-1000Xs, the Impal Jaws, the, uh, this is the Klipsch R5s, the JBL Elite 150 noise canceling headphones, and Wait a we went from- down here we have the Klipsch R6. <laughs> yep, R6 and, and R5s. JBL by Under Armour yep, as well. And we got the JBL Under Armour. Um, and if you really wanted to get technical, I also have went through two other pair of headphones that were, I would definitely not recommend. Um, and one of them was the LG 820S, horrible sound, uh, horrible call quality, just all around horrible, nothing was good about it whatsoever. I would like to add in on that, one of the <coughs> others that is not on the table as well, is you know they've got such high reviews it's probably one of the highest reviewed best uh bluetooth earphones out there the jaybird x3s X3. um i spent more time putting that earbud back in my ear than right. i did listening to music and the thing i didn't like about the the jaybirds were the small that's just a wire and it's literally like my ISO tunes and I almost lose my ISO tunes. And so the Jaybirds ain't magnetic or anything neither. Um, so, you know, if I almost lose my ISO tunes that have just a wire, more than likely I'm gonna lose the Jaybirds too. But, you know, uh, I, I think we, for what we had and for the price range, I don't think the Jaybird X3s are worth the price compared to some of the quality that you can get for cheaper yeah and all of these products are supposed to be in the same category uh, same level of uh, quality uh, after listening to all of these after comparing phone calls phone calls uh, the whole the whole EQ level uh, comfort in your ear comfort around your neck Controls, clicky buttons, <laughs> the price, how easy they are to find. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, the price. Um, I mean, it, it comes down to. It really wasn't a tough decision once we did it. Once we did it all, and we've been doing this all freaking day. It's been uh, one long day. Noon to seven o'clock. Um, yeah, it was probably before noon, but <laughs> um, but we we wanted to make sure we gave y'all the most best comparison that we could without using them for a month. And you know, I mean, you can tell whether you like some headphones when you put them on. You can tell by call quality if you're going to like them or not. There's no oh, I have to wait two weeks. Like I can put on a pair of earphones and go, okay, do I sound good? Oh, they sound like crap. Okay. Yeah, they you know. take it back, have to buy a new pair and come back. <clears throat> so uh, number seven on the list. Um, we'll start with the, with the very worst of all of these. Ended up being Randy's JBL Under Armour headphones and uh you know the comfort in the ear they're real nice they're very comfortable so uh you know the neck is comfortable but they they twist a lot um they twist all the time you said uh bass uh treble mids is pretty good um, i'm not gonna lie the the quality is pretty good now we, loudness we will show you a clip here in just a minute 
Uh, if we don't show you the clip, it'll be overlaid uh, as pictures showing you as each one of these roll by. But yeah, let's roll on to number six. Uh, number six, JBL uh, Elite 150 C and C's here uh, happen to come sixth. Of course, they're JBL. Uh, but but no, um, in, in all honesty, guys, the the earpiece is the same as you know pretty much what he has on his. The neck is it, it's weird. Um, is it comfortable? It is, but it's not really. Uh, it's not as comfortable as I would hope for a hundred and fifty dollar pair of headphones. One hundred fifty. One hundred fifty. Let's just. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Them are two hundred. I'm sorry. Them are two hundred dollar headphones. Um, but when it came to you know the sound quality was was good. The sound quality is good in them. They're just not very loud. And uh, if, if you go back and watch the individual videos, I think that both of these headphones fell out of my ears. Right. Yeah. When, when you were moving. That's no sweat. That's nothing. That's just me sitting here shaking right. my head. Right. Right. So uh, so yeah. Okay. Moving on. So number five. Number five. Number five was the Sony uh, WI-1000Xs. And these are $300 headphones, guys. With outrageously good reviews. Outrageously good reviews. <laughs> um, call quality. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say it. Uh, call quality is horrible. Um, the buttons are on the inside of the neck. Once again, watch the review. Uh, it's just, it's so, Everything's so bad about these. Like, I don't think we found anything good about them. Except for the the rubber piece around the back. The rubber of the neck. piece around the neck. Yes. Yeah. Was, was comfortable uh, to the touch. It was, oh, it is very comfortable. It felt yeah. padded. Um, so, yeah, but other than that, there's really not a, a lot. Um, not for $300. And looking across this spreadsheet, it's. Horrible. It's pretty low. Uh, these these got a we we ranked everything from a one to a ten, um, and we went over the the ear comfort. We went over the neck comfort. We went over uh, the bass, um, how good the bass was, the mid, the treble, the dB of how loud it got, uh, phone quality, um, the controls of where they're at, how easy they are to find, things like that. The price and then our overall and out of a one to ten, I will say this almost beat the Beats in net comfort. That was the right, only, right. that was the only high number it got. Second place in net comfort. Six point five is what we gave this overall. Uh, they're for three hundred bucks. I don't know what other people's listening to or what they are thinking, but there's no way. There's no way. Even if I was listening to music. <laughs> and using these every day to do whatever, I don't care what you're doing. There's no way I would spend three hundred dollars on these. Nope. I don't even think I'd pay one hundred and fifty for them. Hmm. Um, I, I'm I'm not a fan by any means. Now the noise canceling works pretty good. Uh, not going to lie about that. But you know, you 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 can't set aside comfort and the how it sounds and everything like that for just because we got we got canceled. we got four more left what's number <coughs> what's number four number four is the uh impulse. impulse all right all right number four the impulse jaws from uh, amazon guys uh these are 27 28 dollars free shipping prime um they came with a hard case uh i mean Overall, they're really not that bad, and they're very loud, needless to say. And the call quality. Tell them about the call quality. Now, I want you to look at what is left here. We have Klipsch, Klipsch, Beats, and $30 Impal Jaws. $30. Number four. $30. $30. Uh, totally amazing for, what the, for the price. I was not expecting... The call quality to be as clear and the the volume is very high, very high and if i could stand to listen to that much treble it's a lot of treble that right there would blow your mind and it comes with a hard case i mean yeah yeah if you if you like a lot of treble and not a lot of bass these are for you 
Um, and for 30 bucks, who cares? If you break them, you can go buy another pair for 30 bucks. 30 bucks is nothing. So, all right. All right. <coughs> number three. What's number three? Number three. I'm getting all these wrong. Number three. The new uh, Clips R6s. These are the Clips R. Nope, these How are the Clips R5s. Uh, the Clips R5s, number three. Um, they sound good. They're comfortable. Uh, they don't have the loudness. The volume. Yeah. Um, they say 110 dB. They're not 110. Uh, there's no way these are 110. Uh, 80 to 90. Mm, I'd, I'd 90. say more than uh, 90, 95. I'd say 95 to 100 range. I can hear a snap next to my ear. 95, okay. Uh, but they're not noise canceling. So, well, you know, yeah, you know, let's just put that as a point of reference. Like you can yep. you can hear a snap next to your ear at full volume. So, uh, yeah, okay. So you can hear a snap. And these really seem... I mean, they're they're not bad. Uh, this is just a leather band, and it's it's real hard underneath it. There's no cushion there. It's mm. just the leather band, and then uh, you know the controls are kind of plasticky. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but you know it, it. You can tell it's better better than the impulse. But uh, you know, for the price of these, <sighs> we're looking at on they're they're rough. They're 120. 120. Um, these are 120, and. Uh, would I personally buy these again? No. Um, if you're in the market for some Clips headphones, the R5s, which are the upgrades supposedly to the R6s, I wouldn't do it. Uh, no way. Um, but then again, I mean, if, you, if you're looking for a neck band, a true neck band that's small now when they do say upgrade i mean they have done some improvements like the weight savings right but you lost half of your battery you did lose half your battery yeah you only, and you you lost only get one. eight hours eight hours so let's move on to number two okay number two the number two is the beats x beats teamed up with apple on these guys and you can tell it because once again, the bass is not as bassy as most of the other ones are. And I, I can tell you that this one hurt. Uh, I think that all beat owners are kind of sellouts. <laughs> you may not be. Uh, I know that they put out great audio, but uh, you know, you hear of a lot of their things breaking and a lot of their things being too bassy and whatnot, but being they teamed up with Apple, they have flattened the curve a lot. And so these are putting out a very good reference sound. Uh, yeah, everything is coming in so clear. Why did this one get second and not first? Because the sound quality wasn't as good. Was it the sound quality? Well, look at our board. It didn't have the sound quality and you didn't like how it fit in the ears. All right, well, yeah, after looking at the board, this actually has the best neck comfort. Yes. I got a 10 out of 10. Right. Because this is very, very comfortable around the neck. It is very comfortable. It, it, it's real comfortable. Uh, and you can and you can get the... What else did it get a 10 on? Uh, phone call. The ear and phone call, oh, yeah. I know it was crystal clear, guys. If you're an Apple user and you're looking for some headphones, now they don't claim to be sweat proof, they don't claim to be waterproof, uh, because once again, the charging port where you plug in your lightning uh, that you would normally charge your iPhone with is wide open. There's nothing going inside that. It's wide open. So if you get water in that, you probably just ruined something. But. Normally 150 bucks, marked down to $95. These things are awesome. Like, they're they're awesome. I like them. The magnets on them are, are very strong. Um, they felt good around yeah, the neck. The magnets were very strong. If they had a little bit more base, it would have been a tough one. If they had a little bit more base, it probably would have been a tough one. Um, because ear comfort uh, kind of knocked that down as well. Right. These two products tied when it came to overall. <laughs> like, but it came down to comfort, music, like overall, 
we had to pick one. And if I was to pick one, then, you know, I've been using these for a while and I really like them. But guys, I'm gonna tell you something, man. These, these clips, freaking R6s, they look huge, but they're really not. And this is all metal. So, uh, you know, number one on the list. I mean, literally, number one. Uh, they're, they're nice, they're nice, they're real nice. Uh, but um, I, I, I like everything. They're, they're stylish. We had to pick something. Uh, the one thing, I mean, it was hard. It was real hard to pick between these and the Beats because these do not have no magnetics. They're just hanging down. If you're looking for something to just wear around the house, wear around the office, trip, something like that, these are going to be them. These, these are them. Um, if you're looking for something to work in that you just you know got the magnetic on them to hold them together and things then uh you know I'm, i like the beats i really do like the beats that's what i've been using for for uh, mowing in but guys even randy will tell you <laughs> these are some bad mojos right here they sound quality Tell them, just tell them, Randy. Just tell them about it all. It's Klipsch sound quality. Uh, who's at the top of sound quality? Klipsch, Bose, uh, Bang & Olufsen, but I don't think that they, yeah, they make super duper high dollar Sennheiser. stuff. Sennheiser. Sennheiser, uh, you actually <coughs> had Sennheisers, right? They weren't? I had the Sennheisers, uh, the HD1s. Um, and I posted a picture of them on my Instagram and I used them. I used them for two days. And the freaking sound quality is phenomenal. That sounds phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, the sound quality is, I mean, it would have been a tough one between these and the other ones. But mind you, the, the Sennheisers were 150 bucks. Um, but when it came to taking a phone call, it's probably the worst out of every one of these when it came to phone call quality like they're bad now wait what was a really big deciding factor on why this actually came out on top besides sound and comfort price sixty dollars sixty bucks sixty bucks for our number one pick and this we each individually tested these and came up with our own numbers, combined them at the end of the scoreboard, and these came out on top at $60. Half the price as number, not number two. Almost all of them, it's half the price. Half the price of the upgraded, upgraded R5 supposed to be. And uh, I mean, once again, if you're looking for a neck band, I, I still would not pay you $120 for these. They're clips, they're nice. I wouldn't pay 120 bucks for them. But anyway, guys, that's our number one pick right there. The Clips R6s, top of the list. Well, they're $70 brand new. You can get them uh, remanufactured on Amazon for 60 bucks shipped, two day prime. And they're phenomenal. You will not hate me for it, I promise. Guaranteed. Yeah, all right, they're awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. We've got Randy with G4 Outdoors. He's been a uh, big help today and uh thanks for watching like comment subscribe let's get that 7k giveaway and we'll see you in the next one